We usually don't notice bagworms until they start to look like this. When bagworms get to this size, there's not much you can do besides pick them off. If you can pay attention to your trees and your plants and control them earlier in the season, you have a better chance of actually being able to stop these from feeding on your, on your shrubs and trees and killing them. The males will turn into a fly that emerges from the bag late in August. The males will come along to the female bags and mate with the females and then the females lay eggs inside the bag and they can lay four or five hundred eggs in one single bag so each one of these will turn into quite a few more bagworms then these bags will stay on the tree all winter and early mid-may all the way into uh, mid to late june all of those babies will be hatching out of the bags and they'll begin feeding on the tree you won't notice them unless you're looking for them because they're so small and you can look at a variety of insecticides um, there are some um, pesticides that are considered safer, like Bacillus thuringiensis and spinosad. They're typically more effective on really small insects, so you might have to make two or three applications, and it's important to get the entire tree covered uh, in order to control all of them. So you want to make sure that you get the spray down deep inside of the tree and not just out on the surface. If you're using a regular insecticide, you might wait until the end of June to spray and then you just have to make one application to get all of them. If you don't want to use an insecticide at all, you can certainly just come out in August and pick off all the bags, or you can pick them off earlier in the season. But you want to make sure that you get all of them and don't just throw them on the ground. You'll need to destroy uh, the bagworms. They'll chew through a, a trash bag and they'll climb out of a bucket. So you need to make sure you get rid of them or you're just moving the problem. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.